Hi guys, and welcome to Magic. My name is Thomas Hansen, and I'm one of the magicians over at Aista.com. And in this YouTube video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Aista's Magic Cloud using the Docker images. First, go to docs.aista.com. Unless you're already there, there's a link in the description of this particular YouTube video you can click on to get to this particular page. Then click the start, menu, uh, start button in the top right corner here, at which point you're brought onto this page. It might look slightly different, notice, because we are rewriting the documentation in these days. Uh, but at the very top of this particular page, you should find an orange link saying download the Docker Compose file. Click that link, which point you should be given a docker-compose.yml file. Then when you are done, open a terminal window. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to hold down the command key while I click space, type terminal, and click enter. If you are on Windows, you can hold down the Windows key and click the R key and type CMD. Then I'm gonna change my folder using CD space downloads, at which point I can do LS or DIR if I'm on Windows to verify that I actually have the docker-compose.yml file in this particular folder. At this point, you might want to, uh, you might need to verify that you actually have Docker Desktop installed. If you don't, you can simply Google docker-desktop uh, space install, which point you uh, will find this particular web page where you can install the Docker Desktop for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux. I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed. So I am simply going to type Docker dash compose space up and that's it this is going to take some few minutes because uh, docker is going to have to download the docker uh, images from docker hub but when i'm done i can start magic by uh, going to localhost colon five 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 Then when I'm at localhost, colon 555, I can click the login button. I can choose the default backend being HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 4444. Then type root as my root username's password, at which point I'm brought onto this particular screen, allowing me to configure magic. Magic supports PostgreSQL, Microsoft SQL Server, and MySQL out of the box. However, the Docker images are exclusively distributed with a MySQL database server, which you can see if you open the docker-compose.yml file in a text editor of your choice. Keep the existing connection string exactly as it is. This is very, very important. Why? Because it is referencing the MySQL instance that is spawned up inside of the docker-compose.yml file. Then choose a root account password. I'm just gonna uh, choose admin for simplicity reasons, which point Google Chrome is probably going to warn me about my password security. However, it doesn't really matter because I'm on my local host development machine and I don't really care about security here for obvious reasons. Then when you come to point number two here, endpoints, we're gonna have to crudify our magic database. When that's done, you're gonna have to type your full name in the top left corner and your email. Uh, at the, the second text box here, then keep the domain as is, and then you can override the key strength. I'm going to choose 2048, however, in the production environment. You might want to choose at least 4096, because 2048 isn't actually considered to be 100% secure uh, bit strength of your cryptography keeper. When you're done with that, you're actually done. And you can optionally, if you want to, run the assumptions that comes with magic out of the box just to sanity check your particular installation and verify that everything works as it is supposed to be working. And congratulations, you are done. You have now set up magic and you can access its menu here and or you can click the home icon in the top right corner to come to its dashboard, which point you can create new users, foo with a password bar, etc. You can associate users with roles, you can um, delete users, and most importantly, I presume you probably came here because of the CRUD sp spiel and the love code and the no code abilities that Magic has. To which point there's an example database script that Magic is distributed with out of the box for MySQL called Sakila. This is basically the database that is uh, distributed by Oracle uh, as uh, open source. 
source and you can find it if you click the load button here and choose Sakila and then click execute. This will take some few seconds. Afterwards, you will have a new database, at which point you're going to have to flush or purge your server side cache by clicking this little circular icon here before you proceed to the CRUD menu item at the dashboard. You might also, for the record, if you have other databases, you might actually go to your config parts and actually supply the, conf uh, the connection string here. MySQL, for instance, MSSQL, PGSQL, etc. At which point you can CRUDify your existing databases. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to click the CRUD menu item here, which point I can choose my Sakila database and I can inspect one table at a time and or override settings for particular fields and or tables. can override uh, authorization requirements for all my four CRUD uh, related endpoints and I can publish signal R messages upon write invocations, etc, etc. In addition to obviously also override the primary URL and set defaults for all endpoints if I want to. I'm not going to change any of the default settings. I'm just going to leave everything as is and click Crudify all tables. And two seconds later, boom, I've got 3,325 lines of Hyper Lambda code automatically generating for me, effectively wrapping the entirety of my database inside of CRUD, HTTP, Web API endpoints. And I can immediately go to my endpoints menu item here and I can actually start invoking my endpoints. Here you see I'm retrieving actors from the actor uh, table. I can count actors if I want to. I can um, uh, retrieve, uh, I can count addresses, etc., etc. If I find, for instance, uh, film slash category, you will see that uh, the system automatically takes care of joins for link tables for me, etc., etc. Of course, this is just a link table pointing into a film ID and a category ID. However, as you can see, it actually extracts the film ID title and the category ID name for me automatically. Then, of course, I can go onwards to Hyper ID and I can inspect the code the system automatically produced for me. And from here, I can hold down the Option key and click M on a Mac or uh, the Alt key and click M on Windows, at which point I can maximize the code editor. This, of course, is Hyper Lambda code that was automatically generated for me by magic as I clicked the CRUD Ify button on the CRUD menu item. And also from within Hyper ID, I can immediately invoke my endpoints. I can uh, uh, parameterize them as I see fit. For instance, let's retrieve uh, only actors whose last name starts with an A and, well, actually counting them, and there were seven of them. Let's retrieve them instead. Invoke. Actor last name like A percent. Of course, transforming into a like statement in XSQL. You can see here Christian Ackroyd, Kirsten Ackroyd, etc. Only actors starting out with a last name having the character of A etc etc and now of course more importantly i can if i want to i can create and generate a front end automatically i can call my front end sakila I can choose angular type of templates for this particular video i'm going to deploy my uh, angular front end locally which implies that the system is just going to actually create some Angular code for me and uh, put it into my etc folder in the top left corner here. I can choose colors, I can choose which component I want to have uh, included in my credification process. And then when I'm done, I click generate and boom, two seconds later, uh, I now have inside of my etc folder, I have a front ends folder where I can find a Sakila folder, which effectively actually is a complete Angular project. If I had uh, checked off the deploy locally, sliding button when I crudify this uh, uh, module, I would have been given a zip file which I could immediately deploy using the included docker compose file onto my VPS of choosing and it would just automatically work out of the box. So you can see here the source folder contains an app folder, the app folder contains a components folder, the component folder uh, contains a Sakila folder and the Sakila folder contains one folder for every single table in my system. And of course, I can edit my TypeScript as I see fit here and immediately change and save and update the TypeScript. And then, of course, when I'm done, I can go to my files, I can open the etc folder and the frontends folder, and I can download a zip file basically effectively containing the entirety of my Angular project as I see fit. So, anyways, uh, that was it for today. 
Thank you for watching yet again. There's a description in the, there's a link in the description of this YouTube video to where you can get started with magic and hyperland. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.